Welcome to our video on cognitive load theory. In this video, we will explore how this theory helps optimize learning by managing cognitive load. Cognitive load theory explains how our brain processes information, emphasizing the capacity limits of our working memory, and how overwhelming these limits can affect learning. This is important because in the classroom, cognitive overload can hinder students' ability to absorb and retain information. By understanding cognitive load theory, educators and learners can implement strategies to enhance learning outcomes. Throughout this video, we will delve into practical applications and explore how managing cognitive load can lead to more effective educational practices. We will also examine real-life scenarios to illustrate the impact of cognitive load and demonstrate actionable steps to alleviate it. So, let's embark on this journey together and unlock the full potential of our learning capabilities. Understanding and applying cognitive load theory can revolutionize the way we approach education. One of the biggest challenges in learning is managing overwhelming cognitive load. Cognitive load refers to the mental effort being used in the working memory. When faced with too much information or complex tasks, learners often struggle to process and retain what they're studying, impacting their ability to learn effectively. Imagine a student trying to understand a complex scientific theory while also dealing with irrelevant details and distractions. It's a common scenario where the brain gets overwhelmed, leading to frustration and inefficiency. This problem affects not just students, but anyone seeking to grasp new concepts. Addressing cognitive load is crucial to enhance the learning experience. Understanding its nature allows us to explore ways to manage and reduce it, improving comprehension and retention of information. In the upcoming segments, we will delve deeper into cognitive load theory and discover practical strategies to manage this load effectively. To understand cognitive load, we first need to understand working memory, the part of our brain that processes and organizes information. It acts as a mental workspace, allowing us to hold and manipulate data in real time. Think of it as a small, dynamic stage where information comes and goes, making sense of what we see, hear, and think about. But this stage has limited capacity. When it gets overloaded, our ability to process and retain information diminishes. This is where cognitive load comes in, influenced by how much information our working memory can handle. Understanding working memory helps us grasp why it's essential to manage cognitive load effectively. Properly balanced cognitive load ensures that we're not overwhelmed, allowing us to learn more efficiently and retain information better. Different types of cognitive load play distinct roles and will explore strategies to optimize learning outcomes. Cognitive load can be categorized into three primary types, intrinsic, extraneous, and germane. Intrinsic load relates to the complexity of the material itself, its inherent difficulty. Extraneous load stems from how the information is presented. Poorly organized or overly complicated explanations can create an additional burden that hinders learning. Germane load is the cognitive effort put into understanding and creating schemas which help us organize and interpret information. Maximizing germane load is key because it directly contributes to learning and comprehension. Recognizing these different types of cognitive load allows educators, students, and instructional designers to make better decisions about presenting and engaging with material. Effective management of these loads can lead to improved learning outcomes as we will illustrate in our case study. Let's take a closer look at a real life case to understand how cognitive load can impact learning. Meet Sarah, a dedicated student struggling with complex subjects. Initially, she faces significant challenges, wrestling with overwhelming amounts of information and experiencing considerable frustration. Her journey clearly illustrates how cognitive load can hinder learning efficiency. As we walk through Sarah's experiences, we'll see the specific obstacles she encounters and understand the importance of managing cognitive load effectively. Stay with us, because up next, we'll explore how cognitive load theory can be applied to streamline her learning process and overcome these challenges. By applying cognitive load theory, Sarah's learning experience can be optimized. Let's see how. Sarah struggled with complex subjects, overwhelmed by the sheer amount of information. By analyzing her situation, we saw that cognitive load theory could make a difference. 
Firstly, we broke down her study material into smaller, manageable chunks, reducing her intrinsic cognitive load. Next, we integrated visual aids and diagrams to support her learning, offering better clarity and reducing extraneous load. Additionally, we created practice exercises directly relevant to her coursework, enhancing her germane load and promoting deeper learning. These adjustments made the material more digestible and improved her overall comprehension and retention. Sarah's journey shows that understanding and applying cognitive load theory can transform a challenging learning experience into an achievable one. We'll see how focusing on specific strategies can further enhance learning outcomes. Now that we've introduced cognitive load theory and demonstrated its application, let's delve into some highly effective learning strategies. Managing cognitive load efficiently can make a world of difference in both teaching and learning experiences. Firstly, chunking information, breaking down complex information into smaller, manageable units. This helps learners process and retain information more efficiently without feeling overwhelmed. Secondly, using visual aids like charts, diagrams, and infographics simplifies complex concepts and makes learning more engaging. Lastly, reducing extraneous load by eliminating unnecessary information or distractions. Focusing on essential content ensures cognitive resources are used effectively. These strategies not only facilitate better learning outcomes, but also create a more enjoyable and productive learning environment. We'll see how these strategies lead to significant improvements in learning outcomes through Sarah's remarkable progress. By effectively managing cognitive load, Sarah achieved remarkable improvements in her learning outcomes. Her journey from struggling with complex subjects to excelling in her studies exemplifies the power of applying cognitive load theory. Sarah implemented strategies like chunking information, using visual aids, and reducing extraneous load. These methods transformed her learning approach, making it easier to process and retain information. As a result, Sarah not only understood her subjects better, but also gained newfound confidence in her academic abilities. Her success story highlights the practical benefits of managing cognitive load, showing that with the right techniques, significant progress is attainable. We'll see how these strategies can be applied in various educational contexts to foster better learning experiences. In conclusion, managing cognitive load is crucial for optimizing learning. Throughout this video, we've explored the different facets of cognitive load theory, from understanding working memory to implementing effective learning strategies. We've seen how tackling the challenges of cognitive load can transform learning experiences, as illustrated in Sarah's journey. By breaking information into manageable chunks, using visual aids, and minimizing extraneous load, we can significantly enhance our ability to process and retain information. Applying these principles not only improves learning outcomes, but also makes the process more enjoyable and less overwhelming. Let's take these principles and apply them in our own contexts. Managing cognitive load is a powerful tool in the journey toward better education. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of cognitive load theory and its applications. Stay tuned for more insights and keep learning efficiently. As we conclude this journey into cognitive load theory, we leave you with a powerful call to action. Understanding the impact of cognitive load on learning and exploring effective strategies, it's time to put this knowledge into practice. Whether you're an educator enhancing your teaching methods or a student optimizing your study habits, these strategies can make a meaningful difference. We encourage you to apply these techniques in your daily routine and experience the benefits firsthand. Remember, continuous learning is key to staying ahead. To keep receiving valuable educational content, subscribe to our channel. Together, we can transform learning environments and achieve greater success. Join our community dedicated to making learning more effective and enjoyable. Let's take the next step in mastering the art of learning.